and the next part of our lecture and the last one is classification of dental caries and there are uh, several classification but first about definition of caries what caries is caries is a localized pathological process that occurs after the eruption of the tooth under the influence of microorganism characterized by the demineralization of calcified tooth tissue and the disintegration of the organic matrix followed by cavity formation. And first classification of dental, dental caries, the clinical topography classification. According to clinic, there are four types of caries. First, initial caries. This is initial caries or stage of spot. Next, superficial caries. This is the caries only in enamel. Cavity in enamel is superficial caries. The third one is medium caries. Is caries in enamel and also in dentin. Medium caries. And the last one, deep caries, is deep process reaching almost the pulp. And first initial changes may be possible in the pulp. Initial, superficial, medium and deep. Four stages of caries according to clinic and topography. Next classification according to World Health Organization or ICD International Classification of Disease and caries classified as K02. This is code, special code for any caries. K02 means dental caries according to international classification of disease. And different stages of caries uh, have special code codes. K02.0 corresponds to caries limited to enamel or white spot lesion or initial caries its synonym. Spot or initial caries. Spot caries or initial caries. Next K02.1 is caries of dentin. K02.2 caries of cementum and K02.3 arrested dental caries. Just four stages according to ICD, International Classification of Disease or World Health Organization. The spot stage caries corresponds to enamel caries, code K02.2 code enamel caries. The stage of white or made spot means initial caries and caries in the spot stage is characterized by demineralization, color change made surface and then the texture roughness of enamel in the absence of caries cavity. No caries cavity in this stage. White made spot just change of color. White spot uh, that hasn't spread beyond the enamel dentin border. Next, caries of dentin, K02.1, code caries of dentin is K02.1. It's characterized by destructive changes in enamel and also dentin with the transition to enamel dentin border. However, the pulp is closed with a larger or smaller layer of preserved dentin and without signs of hyperemia. So, changes in enamel 
and indenting but not involve pulp in process in, in inflammation without changes in the pulp and next code k02.2 stage of caries of cementum corresponds to uh, code according to icd k02.2 it's characterized by a lesion of the exposed surface of the tooth root in the cervical region where the cement covers the root and it may be destruct its caries of cementum and the last one the stage of arrested caries corresponds to the icd code k02.3 it's characterized by the presence of dark pigmented spot within the enamel focal demineralization of enamel dark spot or pigmented spot means arrested caries k02.3 next classification depending on localization according to black and black divide uh, divided caries cavity into first uh, into five classes and next into six classes and now we have classification according to black six classes first second third fourth class number five and class number six according to black class number one according to black all pit and fissure restorations are class number one and they involve the following three localization occlusal surfaces here in occlusal surfaces of molars and premolars occlusal two thirds of buccal and lingual surfaces of molar and lingual surface of anterior teeth so three localization for the class number one occlusal surfaces of molar and premolar first two-thirds uh, two-thirds of buccal and lingual surfaces of molar here and lingual surfaces of anterior teeth anterior teeth incisors and uh, cusps canines occlusal surfaces two-thirds of buccal surfaces and lingual surfaces of uh, for example incisor class number two involve the proximal surfaces mesial and distal of posterior teeth also molars and premolars with access established from the occlusal tooth surface this and this mesial and distal surfaces of molar and premolar class number two class number three involve uh, the proximal surfaces of anterior teeth incisors and canines which may or may not involve the lingual extension but don't involve the incisal line angle angle is not involved in the process just mesial and distal surfaces class number three class number four involve all proximal surfaces of anterior teeth with also involve their angle the incisal line of angle class number four all surface including angle class number four of anterior teeth class number five involves the cervical sort of all teeth including the 
proximal surfaces of posterior arteries where the marginal ridge is not include the cavity preparation. In the this region, cervical third, any T smaller premolar canine incisor here, for example, here. And class number six involve the incisal edges of all anterior teeth, anterior teeth and cusps tips of posterior teeth, like this. Incisor edges of anterior teeth and cusps tips of posterior teeth. Not typical class, uh, affection, not typical localization. So, special class number six, according to Black. And the lecture is over. Thanks for your attention.